Good morning, members. First of all, I welcome you all in this today webinar on amendments in MSME sector and startup sector in this Union Budget 2024. So, friends, this year, our Honorable Finance Minister, this Modi government 3.0, has taken the MSME and startup sector, a very important sector in the development of Indian economy. As we have seen in the past also, that our MS, M, MSME sector in India is doing very well. So today, we have with us CA Dheeraj Kumar Khandelwalji, the founder chairman of MSME and Startup Committee of ICI. He is serving since the inception of this committee, since last four years, as a chairman of MSME and Startup. And he has done wonders in this sector. And because of his contribution, our ICI has got many rewards and awards. India Book of Record has recognized the contribution of MSME Committee ICI. Asia Book of Record has recognized and many more. And in the startup sector also, we have our ICI MSME and Startup Committee has organized two startup sphere last year in the year 2023. Our committee organized the startup sphere at Mumbai Geo Center, BKC Mumbai. And more than 5,000 people attended that program. And that was most successful program. And this year also in the month of June, last month, we have organized same startup sphere program at Bangalore. So I welcome C.A. Dheeraj Khandelwalji. We also have a very renowned person in this MSME sector, C.A. Mukesh Mohan Gupta ji. He is a very popular person and very well connected in whole over India. And he is running MSME. Uh, various program and on social media if you see he is giving guidance and support to the MSME sector so I welcome CA Mukesh Mohan Gupta ji he will discuss what are Thank the you. government's initiative in this budget towards MSME I also welcome CA Manoj Lamba ji a very young and dynamic chartered accountant. He is also expert in MSME and startup sector. And he is doing also many seminars, webinars. So friends, as we seen yesterday, this time, our finance minister and government of India have an emphasis on the MSME sector for the GDP growth, for the employment, for the skill development, and many more things. So some little things I, will, I would like to share with you. Otherwise, in detail, our CA Mukesh Mohan Gupta ji and CA Manoj Lamba ji will discuss. First, that the mudra loan, mudra loan given to a small businessman without any collateral security amount has increased from 10 lakh to 20 lakh. So this is a very good step. They have doubled the amount of loan to be given to the people to start their business. The second, CDB. CDB is a very big support to the MSME sector. And our government of India has given a commitment that in this year only 24 new branches of CDB will be opened. And in the three years, 
Sidbi will reach to the MSME so that they can get the financial support. Also, Government of India will support the food safety lab. Food safety lab is also a good initiative of the Government of India. And one more thing which government has proposed e-commerce export and e-commerce export will be PPP public private partnership model by this way our small vendors MSME they will get the support and they can will be able to sell their goods through this e-commerce portal and the main important thing which the our finance minister has announced that they will give 5 crore youth this employment generation opportunities and top 500 companies will give the internship to the youth of India. Also through this skill development, 20 lakh youth every year will be skilled in coming five years and 1,000 new industry training institute will be opened and in startup, the removal of angel tax. So these are the tips which I have learned since yesterday. So now I request my chairman, C. Dheeraj Khandelwalji, to please give welcome address to this webinar. Thank you, uh, Raj Chandraji. Uh, I think uh, this is important um, budget for the, in terms of the MSME sectors. You know, I have seen a lot of budgets from last 25 years and every time budgets were very different. When I was reading the newspaper today, I was somewhere felt, you know, very bad. You know, there was no mention in any newspaper about the MSME. Mukherjee might be agree with me, you know, in spite of giving a lot of good work for the MSME in this budget, space in this budget. But none of the newspaper has any one highlighted about the what are the benefits are there in the growth of the industries of by the MSME and what the budget provision we made in this MSME? I was checking the, all the newspaper, you know, morning, you know, something can, you know, can see something like for the MSME. I was very, you know, uh, felt bad and strange that, uh, uh, anyway, but the point that remain the facts is that uh, the budget uh, being finalized with the 10 uh, priorities of the Big Sip Bharat, and out of that, manufacturing sector was the, you know, priority and MSME sector was priority. And that's why, you know, we thought it, let's uh, have this uh, particularly specifically budget analysis in terms of the MSME in, in startup. And the Raj Chalaji immediately rushed to the, you know, Mukesh Monji and, you know, requested, you know, time shifting, though we decided for 25th, immediately he agreed, you know, to be part of this particular budget analysis part. Uh, he is better in the MSME. He, he immediately yesterday itself made out number of videos of the one of the benefits of the MSME in running the MSME sectors. Uh, so he will definitely will uh, brief uh, in the details about the sectors specific of the MSME in the startup. Just wanted to highlight or some points to Mukesh Mohanji to keep highlighting on the part one is which I really like that you know the Masundi part you know up to 100 to rupees, the government has given a structure where the unsecured loan or without any third party collateral loan can be provided for acquiring the machinery. I think this is a important aspect to set up the manufacturing part because a lot of industrial coming and finding difficulties, you know, uh, how to set up their, their plant and machinery because sometimes they don't have the, you know, collateral. How do they going to find it? Because uh, you know, becoming a very small, then then becoming large, is, it, it, it's a wide gap. <clears throat> the government thought it, let's start your own immediately. If you have good idea, good working, you have the land. 
and you want to plant a masandi and bhakti capital you can take it from your own so resources or with the term no i think this is <clears throat> a, given the example comrade has set up this immediate part now request mohan mokesh mohanji highlight on that part you know how this going to be effective and what the procedure going to be because they said that it varied guarantee schemes in that guarantee scheme who whether the city be going to take the lead on on this part because the city is the node nodal agency and wherein the city will take forward you know how the loan can be granted uh, up to 100 crore all the all the banks going uh, given the uh, the all paper whether cgt msme jo uh, divis given the part that's the same agency going to be uh, give the guarantee and it's a, what is the you know purpose of having a annual <coughs> guarantee scheme uh, funding scheme so that's what you know i wanted to understand to mukesh monji he can throw some light on it second yes, yes. important aspect which i thought it about the you know exports that lot of you know duties been reduced so that a lot of other sector going to be emerge and how the financing going to be done and they also set up some finance scheme and uh, some board for the uh, fisheries you know manufacturing shrimps manufacturing and you know exports so i wanted to you know mukesh monji to throw some highlight because people are uh, read this news on the newspaper or uh, from the uh, you know fm but how this going to be operated that's the important aspect another uh, problem which i really like it for the msme and exports <clears throat> one is the uh, setting up a e commerce hub for the msme sectors uh, so which is a welcome step and how it going to be operated whether the state government going to be a, a having a ppp models or 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 all uh, chamber association going to be have the ppp models how they will acquire the e commerce segment so that's the important aspects and which i feel this going to game changer for the growth of the industries in the export uh, msme because everyone are uh, can display their own product and uh, which is uh, again going to be marketable things this is a uh, example um, definitely uh, gold is not comes under the msme is a consumer market but leather and textile which is a again uh, boosting sector which is uh, announced by the government that uh, um, reduce of the bct duty which will lead to them you know more export of more competitive in the world with the vietnam and uh, sri lanka both the uh, uh, sri lanka as well as the vietnam both the under the free trade zone with the us government so there is no duty and that's why they are prospering and keeping in that mind i think the government has used the bct uh, duty uh, so let's see that how the our segment area can be a growth in in this segment of course solar panel solar energy will be a immediate task for each and every msm segment led is uh, solar project so lot of uh, area growth uh, prospect area for the msm to work and start business in this uh, particular area i think uh, another important art aspect is that uh, they provided a vc funds for the uh, uh, research uh, uh, and space economy so anyone anyone which going to be there so there's a vc funds for tabbat dhoni group is even uh, protection and as well as the resource uh, uh, fund the house of 100 1000 uh, 100000 crore rupees uh, budget outlays he he has made so this is a, another a good step for the msme and the startup and uh, startup definitely uh, important aspect which uh, government has agreed about the angel tax Uh, uh removal so i think uh, this is a one of the welcome steps for the startup lot of angel investors now will be you know freely invest in the venture fund or the or the startup so that they will be free from the mind that you know government will be going to harass them and the charge a lot of tax on this so this is i think very welcome step uh, in terms of the msme and i i'm sure about it uh, other provision which not might be you know declared in the you know budget speech but maybe lot of things are there in the uh, blue fine print and which uh, mukesh mohan ji will dent on it all the msme segments area and uh, one of the important aspect which i again emphasize on, on him that how the industry can grow how the financing uh, things can be leveraged 
to them, which is important aspect to the all people. Please highlight. So thank you very much, uh, all of you, to join over here. I think uh, this is, um, uh, you know, one of the, uh, I can say it's a important aspect which we are deliberating over here because once we know this uh, all provision for the related to the MSME and startup, I think the same thing can be uh, uh, transformed into the MSME and we can guide. We are the advisory, we are the CXO services, we are the planning planners. So this way we can uh, help to the L, uh, all MSME and uh, the growth uh, the which we planned uh, in the budget, Bixipar, we can be partner in the Bixipar. With this, thank you very much. Now I request uh, uh, Manoj Lambaji, who is our you know coordinator, and uh, to take this you know a budget analysis part to be uh, take forward. He is very uh, eminent, uh, one of the faculty also in the MSME. He is uh, uh, always available for the uh, our institute. Very good friend of Raj Chaudhary and mine both. So request Manoji uh, to take the proceeding forward. Before that, I would request one minute only. Thank you, Chairman, sir. <clears throat> uh, last night on India TV, Rajat Sharma ji has covered uh, this MSME sector in a very well way. Oh, very nice. So he explained that uh, this, uh, as you mentioned, that uh, there is no news in the newspaper. I have, al have also seen this. But uh, yesterday evening at, uh, at nine, uh, nine o'clock, Rajat Sharma has covered Aaj Ki Baat this uh, MSME sector in a very well and very positive way. So over to Manoj Lambaji. A very good morning to all the viewers. First of all, I thanks CA Dhiraj Khandelwal ji, Chairman MSME and Startup Committee, Vice Chairman CA Dr. Raj Chawla ji for providing me an opportunity to be part of this very important webinar on uh, Union budget proposals with regard to MSME and startups. I also take this opportunity to introduce very eminent personality of the day, CA Mukesh Mohan Gupta ji. Mukesh Mohan Gupta ji is a chartered accountant by profession, having more than 30 years of experience in banking, finance, MSME, economy, law, accounting, and auditing. He has served on the board of Dena Bank as an independent director. He was also appointed on the board of one of the Tata Group company and other public sector undertaking by BIFR, Ministry of NAS, Government of India. He was also nominated as a member of National Board of MSME, Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. He was invited by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi ji, at his official residence to discuss the current economic situation and by way forward, especially for MSME in a small group. He also operate a YouTube channel and very famous on YouTube channel called MSME Helpline, wherein he has posted more than 625 videos on various schemes of MSME. The channel has a subscriber base of more than 1 million. He has a hosted a positive talk with Mukesh Mohan Gupta ji show on G business and covered many central cabinet ministers, deputy governors, RBI, and many CMDs, EDs of the bank. With these words, I present before you the eminent personality in this MSME era of Indian economy, Mukesh Mohan Gupta ji, please, sir. Thank you, Manoji. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, uh, Shri Dheeraj Khandelwalji and Shri Raj Chawlaji for uh, this opportunity. And I will, I have no hesitation in accepting that I am learning a lot from Dheeraj ji, you know, uh, while be a part of uh, MSME and Startup Committee. Jo aapka junoon hai, sir, wo, matlab, uh, I'm, I'm not able to match that, uh, you know, dedication. Uh, but friends, today we will discuss the announcement by the Honorable Finance Minister uh, yesterday during that uh, budget speech. Before that, I would also like to uh, accept that this government is very consultative government. I was also called by Honorable uh, Finance Minister for a pre-budget consultation meeting in a group of uh, about uh, 10 to 12 people. 
and uh, we gave various suggestions related to growth and support for this MSME and startup sector. And I am happy to share that uh, most of the uh, suggestions being given by us have already been accepted uh, during this uh, budget uh, uh, announcement. So uh, though the budget has uh, given uh, nine priorities, but since today's meeting is particularly for uh, the announcement related to MSME, so I will stick to MSME sector uh, and I'll not touch upon the uh, taxation part of this. I have tried to divide my uh, presentation in four parts. So in, in first, there are certain direct announcement for the MSME sector. Then there are various indirect benefits to MSME sector, which directly have not been told that these schemes or announcement are for MSME, but they will benefit the MSME sector in a big way. The third one, very important, is ease of doing business uh, for the MSME sector. And the fourth is employment opportunity, which ultimately benefit the MSME sector. So if uh, in the pa first part, if I'll discuss with the direct uh, announcement for MSMEs, so uh, the minister has said that uh, special attention is given to MSME in manufacturing, particularly labor intensive manufacturing. And this package which uh, she has announced uh, is covered uh, financing, regulatory changes, technology support, and uh, to help them grow and also compete globally. So the first scheme, which is particularly for the MSME sector and which uh, my learned friend uh, Dheeraj ji also asked me to discuss in detail, is the credit guarantee scheme for MSME in the manufacturing sector. I still have little doubts, which I will also discuss during this uh, uh, discussion. So the uh, budget says that a credit guarantee scheme will be introduced for term loan to MSMEs for purchase of uh, machinery and equipment because now there is no difference in uh, manufacturing and service sector. The definition is same. So she has particularly specifically, I suppose, mentioned these two things, machinery and equipment. And um, it has been proposed that uh, this loan will be without any collateral or third party guarantee. So normally what happens, this CDT MSE, which is currently available to MSME sector up to the limit of uh, 5 crore, is uh, available in a uh, mixed mode also, uh, wherein uh, uh, some part can be covered under CDT MSC and some part can be uh, secured by any collateral security or third party guarantee. But here in this scheme, it has been told that uh, you know it will be without collateral and without even any third party, party guarantee. Uh, but the important thing is that here the loan amount has been defined as 100 crore rupees per uh, applicant, per MSME. And it has to been told that though the guarantee will be up to 100 crore, the loan amount may even be larger than 100 crore. So it has been very categorically told. I am Why I am confused on this issue about this 100 crore? Because as per the definition of MSME, the investment in plant and machinery for the medium scale is maximum 50 crore rupees. So if the investment in plant and machinery is more than 50 crore, it will go out of the purview of uh, uh, definition of MSME. But here, they are not talking about working capital. If it would have been for the working capital also, I would have understood something. It will be for working capital, partly for uh, plant and machinery, and partly for working capital. But categorically, she had told that it is for the term loan to MSME for purchase of machinery and equipment. How, whether they plan to uh, change the definition of MSME or not, it's it's again a question. The important thing is that it will not be covered by any, perhaps the what the proposal is, will by any government guarantee. Because the minister has told that it will be separately constituted self-financing guarantee fund. So meaning thereby, perhaps which I could understand that all the MSME will do a pooling of guarantee everybody will pay something as a guarantee fees. And if so, suppose 100 MSMEs or so we have more than six crore MSMEs, suppose one crore MSME take the benefit of uh, this thing, which still is uh, uh, very difficult because if we see the at the Udyam registration, more than four crore MSMEs are registered, but 98% are micro and small enterprises. So perhaps th those um, MSMEs or micro and small enterprises uh, will definitely be out of this thing. So uh, let us wait for some more details on this. 
and um, it has been told that there will be a guarantee fees and um, at the initial stage and then there will be annual guarantee on the reducing loan balance so this this is about uh, how about the uh, sir i could understand about uh, this scheme so there are some doubt we will discuss with the ministry also and we'll try to find out the uh, confusion we have uh, and as far as your thing is concerned that you know uh, the media has not uh, covered sir with due respect though the newspaper is print media might have not but uh, yesterday itself, I was also on various TV channels and they discussed only on MSME sector. I was on um, uh, Sunset TV, I was on G Business and they exclusively discussed with me on the MSME sector. Then the second uh, scheme being announced is new assessment model for MSME credit. This is very, very important. And we discussed this thing with the Honorable Finance Minister during this uh, pre budget consultation and we suggested this thing in a very big way. So what happens, friends, you might have seen being all the chartered accountants and maybe some of uh, you, maybe the MSMEs. Uh, what happens and what we have uh, observed that our balance sheet is normally not bankable. This is the biggest problem why we don't get the funding. And we always uh, complain that uh, we are MSME, we are not getting the finance. But the other fact is that our balance sheet normally is not bankable, not bankable meaning thereby that the ratios which are required as per the bank loan policy are not there in our balance sheet. We profit profit not profit in the same So these capital is not introduced in the We show the unsecured loan from directors, partners. So our balance sheet normally is not bankable that is the problem then what is the solution so what we also suggested that the solution is cash flow based funding then the balance sheet funding perhaps this uh, announcement is related to this that uh, the public sector banks will now build their in-house capability to assess msmes for the credit one more thing uh, we also suggested that credit rating is also hurting us a lot because there are same score model for the large industry and the MSME as they got the external credit rating. And uh, normally the MSMEs are not able to get the investable uh, uh, rating, which is triple B family. Uh, so this is again... और मैं तो हमेशा कहता हूं मजाक में थोड़ा कि वो अमिताभ बच्चन का एक डायलॉग डायलॉग जो था कि जाओ पहले उसका सिग्नेचर लेकर आओ तो व्हेन वी गो टू द बैंक एज एन एमएसएमई तो द बैंक टेल अस इफ द लोन अमाउंट इज अबव थर्सहोल्ड लिमिट कि जाओ पहले क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी का सिग्नेचर लेकर आओ उनसे पूछ कराओ वेदर यू आर विद इन द इन्वेस्टेबल ग्रेड और नॉट सो नाउ द बैंक्स हैव बीन एडवाइज थ्रू दिस बजट that now you need not to uh, go for the external assessment. You do your own uh, internal assessment. And the there are various uh, assessment model based on the scoring of digital footprint. So what are the digital uh, footprints? So I feel now banks have every information of anybody, of any MSME, like they have the GST uh, return detail. And normally all NBFCs and private sector banks are doing like this because in GST, they take over uh, username, password. They can uh, get the information that what is the turnover, how the monthly growth is there, whether we are compliant as regards the payment of the GST and not. Then uh, our income tax return shows everything about the profitability. No need to see our balance sheet. We They take over bank account. And uh, now there are various digital footprint, the di digital uh, medium uh, by which they can, you know, immediately, it may be n number of pages of a bank account, but uh, uh, immediately these uh, uh, software will give the report that, uh, you know, the um, uh, how many checks are dishonored, how many transactions are there, what is the credit uh, submission in the bank, everything about the bank, whether we have uh, issued check uh, for some purpose other than the business purpose. So every information is available. Then the credit bureau reports are also there, which uh, tells that, you know, what is our payment behavior, repayment uh, uh, behavior in past. So I, I feel that there is no need for asking the balance sheet. And the Honorable Finance Minister has specifically mentioned, I will just uh, quote, that uh, the, the, she has told that banks will cover MSMEs without a formal accounting system. It's very important, meaning thereby that even if uh, we don't have the accounting system, uh, the, we'll be able to get the finance uh, from the banking channel. Uh, another problem being faced by the MSMEs is the special mention account. So normally, 
when anybody will say to anybody that you are very special, he will be very happy. Oh, I am special. But when anybody says that your account has turned into a special mention account, so Samazlo, it is an untouchable thing. Because normally what happens, even for a zero-day default delay or some other technical reason, the account can be classified as a special mention account, that is SMA. And then uh, the ultimate uh, result uh, happens to be that account is supposed to be an NPA, most of the cases. Here, the finance minister has announced that even the special mention account will be able to get finance that too a guarantee from a government promoted fund. So maybe they may uh, create a separate uh, guarantee fund for uh, SMA accounts. And uh, But we have to prove, being an MS MSME, that uh, we have to prove that uh, the reason for uh, transferring the account to SMA by any bank is uh, beyond our control. Right. Uh, another uh, very important uh, announcement is regarding the Mudra loan. Mudra loan is playing very important role as regards the employment generation also. So uh, 10 lakh limit has been increased to uh, 20 lakh. Uh, but uh, there is a catch that the entrepreneurs who have availed and successfully repaid previous loan under the Tarun category will only be able to get this 20 lakh. Not that directly anybody goes to the bank and uh, tell them that uh, I want a Mudra loan, give me a 20 lakh rupees loan. That will not be possible. It will be only if uh, you have taken the loan up to 10 lakh rupees under Tarun category, repaid it successfully, then you go to the bank and tell them that uh, I need the additional 10 lakh rupees or additional 20 lakh rupees. TRADS is also playing very important role uh, in the uh, financing requirement uh, of the MSMEs and the threshold limit for onboarding of the buyers, CPSC, mm -hmm. private companies, uh, was 500 rupees. Currently, also it is 500 crore rupees or more of turnover. Now, this threshold limit has been increased for the buyer to 250 crore. And uh, uh, here we are also uh, making a representation uh, to the government. Uh, maybe, dear sir, we can do it from the institute side also. Uh, as regards the trade, it's okay that they have reduced uh, the turnover from 500 crore to 250 crore. But um, uh, unless there are onboarding of all the CPSCs, PSUs, and the private companies, and there are transactions through the trade platform. There is uh, not much of benefit uh, by reducing the threshold limit from 500 crore to 250 crore. Uh, so uh, we should uh, suggest to the government uh, that uh, it should be mandated for all the companies, all the CPSCs, and the government also who have the turnover of uh, this 500 or 250 crore, what, whichever. And all the bills of the MSMEs should be mandatorily routed through this trade platform uh, of these buyers. Uh, uh, one more uh, announcement has been done by the finance minister in this uh, uh, regard. Uh, ministry name is Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, but I have seen that all all schemes are only for micro and small enterprises. I have not uh, been able to identify even a single scheme which is for the medium category. Now, in this thread, uh, the minister has told that uh, medium enterprises will also be included in the scope of the supplier as an MSME. Uh, sir, you were referring to the SIDBI also. Uh, SIDBI definitely is uh, playing very important role. And they still are uh, doing the direct financing, though it has been told in the budget that uh, SIDBI will do the direct financing, but it's still uh, doing the um, direct financing uh, to the MSMEs also. But uh, perhaps it is uh, told that uh, they will open more branches, 24 more branches will be opened by SIDBI, and uh, there are about 242 clusters um, as on today in the country. Uh, so with these 24 more branches by the SIDBI, I suppose that about 168 clusters uh, will be covered by SIDBI financing. And SIDBI has various schemes for the green energy also. They are working towards net zero, which is, I suppose, our vision, our vision of the country, vision of the uh, uh, not only country, the whole world. Uh, so they have various schemes regarding the green financing, the circular economy. Some schemes have been announced. 
so uh, with the support of uh, silvi by opening of more branches i suppose the the msmes will be able to get funds at uh, affordable rate from this um, financial institution then uh, another announcement is uh, is that uh, food radiation quality and safety testing so it has been told that financial support for setting of 50 multi product food irradiation units in the msme sector will be provided uh, this financial uh, support will be provided to them and uh, they will set uh, plan to set up 100 food quality and food safety testing labs with the nabl accreditation uh, these uh, uh, two announcement have been made under this uh, category so you are talking about the e-commerce export hub that is very important yes i agree with you and uh, this announcement says that uh, to enable msmes uh, and the artisans for which there has already been announced a vishwakarma scheme recently by the honorable uh, prime minister but uh, they are facing how to sell the product and how to sell the product in a e-commerce mode uh, not only in india but in international market also so these uh, export hubs will be set up uh, for the msmes and uh, the traditional artisan and these will be uh, created in public private uh, partnership mode and uh, this will facilitate trade and export related services under one roof one important thing i would like to uh, mention here in this e-commerce export hub that government has uh, already announced a nice platform which is uh, ondc i suppose most of my friends will be aware of this open network for digital commerce though there is no mention in the budget for this but uh, this is also very very important uh, uh, scheme of the government and uh, they are planning to uh, develop it like uh, upi so as upi there is no uh, app in the name of uh, upi there are uh, paytm there is uh, gpay and so on so forth likewise ondc itself doesn't have any app in its own name but they have various sellers a platform and buyers platform government is uh, encouraging the ondc and uh, by this uh, if if some of you don't know uh, i'll happy to share that uh, now any of the msme can have their e-commerce website in 15 minutes without investing even a single rupee this this is a great uh, support so if there is any msme currently it is not available for the service sector Uh, maybe soon we can have this for the service sector also so we all chartered accountant may also have our e-commerce website and once it's a open network so once any seller is there is registered on uh, any of the uh, seller's uh, platform he will be visible on all the platform uh, recently the ministry of micro small and medium enterprises on the international msme day has announced uh, another scheme in the name of uh, wherein various uh, Uh, incentives uh, and subsidies have been announced for this e-commerce uh, <laughs> used by the msme uh, one uh, uh, another important uh, which may directly impact the msme is the internship in top companies the government has told uh, that uh, they will launch a comprehensive scheme uh, so the uh, uh, various uh, details are yet to come for providing internship opportunity in 500 top companies uh it will benefit uh, 1 crore youth in uh, the forthcoming 5 years and uh, internship allowance will be given to these interns at the rate of 5000 rupees per month along with a one time assistance of rupees 6000 this will be a uh, great support to particularly uh, may, maybe the msmes may also uh, request for these type of services in addition to the 500 top companies then there is a, another very big problem being faced by the msmes suppose i want to uh, start my msme my manufacturing unit or a service industry where to put that industry where is the land and if i get a land somewhere how can i uh, bear the cost of uh, the land this issue was also discussed by me with the honorable finance minister that uh, there should be some scheme uh by the government to arrange land or the uh, some space to these young entrepreneurs so that they can start their enterprise 
they can employ a lot of people uh, they can contribute in the gdp of the country so government has come up with the industrial parks and uh, it has been informed that uh, plug and play uh, type of industrial parks with complete infrastructure uh, will be created uh, in around uh, 10 cities and uh, this will be in partnership with the various states and private sector but the problem is that uh, suppose these parks will be uh, created uh, maybe in the outer part of the cities from where will they get the workers so they have the solution uh, for this thing also and it has been told that uh, the rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers will also be uh, arranged uh, by the government so it's a, it's a great uh, announcement that it will be done in ppp model hum logo ne sabne suna hoga ki wo heart lag raha hai market lag raha hai you know on weekdays there are various usko kya kya bolte hain hindi mein heart bolte hain market bolte hain so street market ke liye the government has also announced a scheme to support each year over next 5 years the development of 100 weekly hearts or street food hubs in select city so I suppose this is also, these all heart uh, participants are also micro enterprises. Uh, so as I was referring to that, you know, net zero and uh, solar, these are very important uh, part for MSME. So an another scheme uh, which has not been covered under MSME uh, chapter by the Honorable Finance Minister, but I feel this is a direct benefit to the MSMEs. PM Suregar Muft Bizli Yojana. So uh, under this scheme, it has already been uh, was already announced and already in uh, working. So rooftop solar plants will be installed in one crore household, uh, by which uh, free electricity up to three hundred units uh, will be given to every household every month. The government has already received many applications. More than one crore applications have already been received. Uh, so registrations have been done but i suppose msmes will get lot of lot of business out of uh, these uh, solar uh, rooftop because lot of subsidies are also there for this pm surya uh, ghar muft bijli yojana another important uh, announcement uh, directly affecting the uh, micro and small industries is that uh, an investment grade energy audit of traditional micro and small industries in 60 clusters will be facilitated. So, uh, because uh, most of the time these micro and small enterprises may be paying a lot of uh, uh, energy cost, so the government will undertake the energy audit and uh, financial support will also be provided for shifting them to cleaner form of energy and implementation of energy efficiency meter. So, uh, definitely it uh, is going to be a big, big uh, boost to the MSME sector, particularly micro and small enterprises, as far as the technology upgradation in this uh, energy uh, space is required. And after uh, this uh, 60 cluster, uh, the government is planning to introduce it in another 100 clusters in the next phase, in the second phase. Uh, then on the research and development also, uh, the government is concerned and uh, research and development of a small and uh, modular nuclear reactor. So government uh, has told, the finance minister had told that we'll partner with the private sector for setting up of Bharat small reactors and research and development of Bharat small modular reactors. And number three, research and development of newer technologies for nuclear energy. R&D funding will also be made available by the government for uh, this uh, technological research and development. Uh, some indirect uh, benefits which I feel are there, not directly told by the finance minister that these are for the MSME sector, but directly, indirectly, they will definitely uh, assist the MSMEs. Uh, so, uh, many of uh, you uh, will be aware that, you know, on infrastructure investment by central government to the tune of uh, 11 crore, 11 lakhs, 111 crore of rupees uh, has been uh, earmarked for the capital expenditure. But uh, dear friends, all these infrastructure will be done. Most of this will be done by the various contractors uh, and uh, 
many items will be used by these contractor in these infrastructure projects, which are being manufactured by micro, small and medium enterprise. And then there are private investment in infrastructure uh, heading also there in the budget where in the government has said, said that uh, investment in infrastructure by private sector will be promoted through viability gap funding. This will again help uh, the MSME sector. Uh, any infrastructure project definitely will support various contractors and various uh, manufacturer uh, of the products uh, being manufactured by the micro and small and medium enterprises. So likewise, that uh, Pradhan Mantri uh, Gram Sadak Yojana uh, is there and uh, wherein the all-weather connectivity to 25,000 rural habitations which have become eligible in view of the population increase. So wherever there is an increase in the population, government is planning to build this uh, all-weather connectivity and they will do it for 25,000 uh, rural areas under this Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. We, the MSMEs definitely will be will play a very important role in this. Uh, in the tourism sector, you will see most of the uh, companies which are in the tourism are also from the MSM sector. And government has a vision to position India as a global tourist destination. And this uh, support by the government to the tourism department will definitely create job, uh, investment, and it will unlock economic opportunities for the MSME sector. Uh, then there is uh, one priority by the government in this budget is innovation, research and development. Under this, uh, the finance minister has uh, told that uh, we will operationalize the Anusandhan National Research Fund. Uh, it will do basic research and prototype development. So whenever we see the prototype development, so perhaps it is for the startups also. So uh, they will do the prototype development. And the government is planning to set up a mechanism for... Uh, spurring private sector driven research and innovation at commercial scale. So most of the MSMEs will definitely be benefit uh, out of uh, it. And uh, it will be done through a financing pool of 1 lakh crore rupees. A space economy, dear sir, you were referring to definitely, I would also like to touch upon that, uh, you know, uh, government has uh, the plan to expand the space economy by five times in the next 10 years and a venture capital fund of rupees 1000 crore will be set up for this thing. Um, I, I feel this is a good space for many startups. You should come forward and should uh, try in this space economy because 1000 crore rupees venture capital is going to support you. Uh, a, a very important announcement which uh, many of you may think that not related to MSME is related to the land related uh, announcement in this budget so what happens uh, agri and msme are you know bhai bani hai wo dono so uh, uh, this land reforms have been taken in a very big way in this uh, budget uh, wherein they are saying that we'll do the digitization of the maps we'll do the survey of maps of division as per the, uh, ownership establishment of land registry, linking of the farmer's registry. These actions will definitely facilitate credit flow and other agriculture services. So these, uh, to me, I, I could just go through the budget and I feel that these are the uh, direct indirect benefit uh, to the MSME sector. Some other important thing which I could uh, feel from this budget that uh, they are towards the ease of uh, doing business. And the government is working towards the Jan Vishwas Bill 2.0 wherein the states will be incentivized for implementation of this their business reform. So they will be asked to do some business reforms for uh, ease of doing business, digitalization uh, of their activities. Uh, very, very important thing. But very, very important. Uh, the delayed payment problem is a big problem to these MSMEs. Uh, in the last budget, the finance minister has announced section 43 BH which is playing very important role when we were there to discuss uh, the pre-budget consultation with the Honorable Finance Minister. She was very, very concerned about uh, this 43 BH and she categorically asked uh, for me that, you know, you tell me, I tried to do and we also suggested uh, these things earlier. So she was very uh, much concerned about this thing that, you know, you do. Uh, MSMEs were concerned about the timely payment and when we introduced this 43 BH, a lot of people are criticizing 
सो आई आई टोल्ड दैट मैडम जो निगेटिव चीजें होती हैं वो ज्यादा जल्दी फैलती हैं वी नीड नॉट टू बी वरी अबाउट दीज थिंग्स एंड दिस इज ए ग्रेट अनाउंसमेंट फोर्टी थ्री बी एच एंड इट शुड रिमेन एज इट इज एंड यू शुड नॉट विदड्रॉ दिस इन दिस रेस्पेक्ट the government has announced very important uh, thing that uh, they will revamp shram suvidha and samadhan portal samadhan portal is being run by ministry of micro small and medium enterprises and is playing very very important role in timely payment uh, of uh, the dues of uh, micro and small enterprises and there is great need of revamping of uh, samadhan portal we have given many suggestions as regard the samadhan samadhan portal including you know online order online cause list and so on so forth so government has perhaps accepted our uh, suggestion and it has been told that uh, they will revamp this samadhan portal uh, in the ease of doing uh, they have told that will uh, do some uh, reforms in insolvency and bankruptcy code national company law tribunal tribunal and uh, will do something towards the voluntary closure of uh, limited liability partnership uh, if it is not able to run uh, debt recovery tribunals uh, reform and strengthening will also i suppose help in uh, ease of doing business additional tribunals will be established uh, uh, as regards stem duty because uh, the msme is also you know purchase land build land building for their industrial property and so on so forth maybe for their residential purpose also for the commercial purpose so the finance minister has uh, informed that uh, they will increase those estates which are charging the high stamp duty uh, to moderate it uh, and uh, they will definitely i suppose uh, request the estates that if you can consider further lowering of the duties and uh, more so particularly for the women uh, on the fdi also uh, the this budget also mentioned that rules and regulation for fdi and overseas investment will be simplified so these um, i could find that these are some of the provisions where ease of doing has been considered by the honorable finance minister some two three uh, another uh, important announcement as regards to employment generation uh, i would also like to discuss uh, so government has told the finance minister has told that they will implement three schemes for employment uh, link incentive uh, and these will be based on the enrollment uh, employ enrollment uh, in the uh, epfo or and the focus will be on recognition of first time employees because uh, unemployment has been a subject matter which is discussed a lot so they want that wow. those who don't have the job as uh, present as first time employee they should get some incentive uh, so uh, you might have seen that there is a scheme of first timer wherein the finance minister has told that uh, will give one month wage to all persons who will enter uh, in the workforce in the formal sector it will be a direct benefit transfer of one month salary it will be given in three installment for the first time employees uh, being registered in the epfo will be the amount will be up to 15000 rupees and it will benefit about 2.1 crore youth another scheme uh, for this employment generation is job creation in manufacturing uh, where in uh, another 30 lakhs youth uh, are uh, supposed to be benefited uh the third scheme is uh, a support to uh, the employers uh, the employer focused scheme will cover additional employment uh, definitely in all the sectors and uh, uh, additional employment with a salary of up to uh, 1 lakh rupees per uh, month will be uh, counted government uh, will reimburse to employers up to rupees 3000 per month for two years towards their epfo contribution for each of the additional employee they have uh, employed uh, it will definitely again government plan that uh, and hope so that it will benefit another uh, employment of 50 lakh per year uh, then uh, women is also one of the center area uh, for the government and uh, for the participation of women in the workforce government is planning to create working women hostels in collaboration with industry and the establishing a uh, crechis will also be there uh, 
skilling program will also be there in uh, collaboration with the state government and the industry. Uh, 20 lakh youth will be skilled over a five-year period. Uh, then skilling loan will also be given uh, to the youth up to 7.5 lakh rupees and it will be guaranteed by the government promoted fund. Uh, another uh, important thing is uh, the education loan. It has been uh, announced that uh, financial support uh, for loans up to 10 lakh rupees for higher education in domestic institution because government perhaps want that you know domestic institutions should be promoted. And e-vouchers for this purpose will be given directly uh, to 1 lakh students every year. And in this loan, annual interest subvention of 3% of the loan amount will also be provided by the government. So, uh, sir, from my side, these are the um, uh, announcements which I find that I should discuss, uh, maybe related uh, to MSMEs and the startup. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much, Kuttaji. I have listened very carefully to you and uh, noted some of the main points and there are also some questions from the viewer. First, we will take the questions. Yeah, please. One of the, uh, one of the viewer want to know that any increase proposed for the CGTMSC scheme beyond 5 crore in budget 2024? Answer is no. Answer is no. But there is there is one scheme which has already been announced, which is the credit guarantee scheme for a startup, wherein loan up to 10 crore rupees is available to the startup without any collateral security under the guarantee fund. But not announced in this scheme. Uh, this, uh, this is the guy. And another participant want to know that credit guarantee scheme for SME for uh, service sector funding based on receivable is there? Yes, yes, yes. So is this CDTMSC, CDTMSC is available currently to the manufacturing, to service sector, and even to the traders also. And someone is writing 100 crore, which you have told for a manufacturing sector, CGTMS scheme. They are saying that it seems to be a typographical mistake. No, no, it's not a typographical mistake. She has told also, uh, and it is not a CDTMSC. So uh, it is not, uh, it has been very clearly spelled out by, and this big mistake cannot be a typographical mistake. Uh, you know, when the budget is uh, presented, it is read by not uh, less than, you know, maybe 50, 100 people will definitely be. So um, there doesn't seem to be any type of uh, error. Uh, and it is not under CGT MSC. They are saying that the scheme will operate on the pooling of credit risk by such MSME. So the all the MSMEs will uh, pool this risk. Perhaps this is the agenda. And uh, one another question. Is there any change in investment and turnover criteria to decide MSME status in keeping with the economic growth with Thresh now, as I believe that Thresh hold limits need to be reviewed? No, I suppose the suggestion is good. We have also suggested this thing. We have not told that, you know, you increase the maximum outer limit of 50 crore of investment and 250 crore of turnover. But what we told that, you know, there is a big gap in the turnover of uh, small and medium enterprise, 50 crore and 250 crore. So normally what happens when any company or any enterprise reaches or touches the turnover of 50 crore, uh, they shy in growth, in fact. They feel that if we'll go to 51 crore or 50 lakh crore, 1 lakh, we'll lose the uh, uh, all the benefits of micro and small enterprises. Uh, so that suggestion was given by us also, but uh, uh, there is no change as far as the definition of uh, MSME, which was last done in 2022, wherein the investment and uh, turnover, they both were club. Uh, so there is no change. Another question is regard to the extension of this mudra loan limit. Uh, they want to know that whether the extended mudra loan limit of rupees 20 lakhs from 10 lakhs without collateral be inclusive of working capital funding also. Yes, yes, yes. So this mudra loan is normally, uh, the government tells that, you know, normally it should be without any collateral security and it can be in the form of term loan, working capital, anything. And uh, one thing many of the viewers want to know that 
they are uh, uh, asking finance minister has proposed reg uh, with regard to amendment in section 43b close edge but uh, what is the current state of 43b at for the income tax act for the assessment date 2425 kindly <laughs> can you reread it the first part the uh, finance minister they are saying that the finance minister has promised no 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 so yahi bas yahi ruk jaiye it was never promised if you can show me any of her statement wherein she has seen that we will drop it there is no such there was no such promise and friends it's a fantastic provision we all should you know encourage it we should educate educate our msmes that this is for their benefit only and one more important thing see this is not a new amendment what i passed this uh, act which is micro small and medium enterprise development act 2006 it was announced it was uh, introduced on 2nd of october 2006 wherein if you read section 15 to some section 24 25 of this act there are solution of the delayed payment and under this act it has been provided that any payment to micro and small enterprises has to be made within 45 days so the, the these provisions uh, are already there Uh, there are certain other um, uh, you know uh, nitty gritty of this thing so 45 days or it can be even lesser than 45 days right uh, based on if there is any agreement or non agreement so we can discuss this at length or at some other occasion but there was the provision in the act since 2006 what finance minister has done in the last budget they have tried to get it implemented because this provision was there but it was actually not implemented properly so the uh, view of the finance minister as per the uh, personal discussion i had uh, with her and the entire team of the ministry of finance so what they told that uh, what we have not introduced any new uh, provisions what we have done we have tried to make sure that the provision of the ministry of micro uh, small and medium enterprises through msmed act is properly implemented so uh, we also आई एम ऑल्सो अगर आप दोष देना चाहें मुझे भी दे सकते हैं तो आई ऑल्सो टोल दैट प्लीज डोंट विदड्रॉ दिस प्रोविजन सर आई एम ए रेगुलर स्पीकर ऑन डेट सेक्शन फोर्टी थ्री बी एच आई हैल्सो ए वेरी एलोब्रेटिव कमेंट्री रिटर्न ए बुक ऑन फोर्टी थ्री बी एच एंड आई वॉन्ट टू एड समथिंग हेयर आई एम ऑफ द सेम व्यू एज यू हैव कि आई डिटेंट वॉन्ट कि दिस प्रोविजन इज टू विदड्रॉ दिस प्रोविजन इज इंट्रोड्यूस टू स्टे हेयर फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द एम एस एम ई फॉर द प्रमोशन ऑफ द एम एस एम ई it can never be withdrawn but only problem is in its implementation we have to guide our msme or uh, our uh, consultant to how to implement it so once it is implemented then i think there is no uh, problem in the coming year the problem is in first year because we are uh, getting uh, some extra tax burden in next year when will you payment you will get the uh, rebate of this way uh, deduction of the same so i think that the problem is in first year itself and this uh, amendment is remain to stay there is no yes. amendment with regard to that 24 25 mein bhi lagega is saal ki returns mein ye lagna hai is pe koi badlav nahi kiya gaya aur na hi koi badlav ki sambhavna hai manoj ji i would also like to add one more thing rather than requesting for withdrawal of uh, this provision we the chartered accountants i suppose should advise our msme clients everybody should have uddyam registration we are suggesting to the government to the ministry of msme also that this udyam registration should be made mandatory abhi level playing field nahi hai so yes. what is happening suppose i don't have the udyam registration i may get order from the large company on the assurance ke bhaiya kar dena aap mujhe 60 din mein payment kar dena koi baat nahi yaar aapko koi problem nahi hai but when all the msmes will get this udyam registration mandatorily along with their gst registration along with their uh, businesses pen registration along with their company incorporation opc registration llp registration like we get uh, you know gst bank account uh, and many other free gifts with the incorporation of the uh, company when everybody will have this udyam registration that then there will be no problem at all फिर वो फाइनेंशियल डिसिप्लिन अपने आप आ जाएगा कि भैया मेरे से नहीं कराओगे आप मनोज जी के पास जाओगे ना अच्छे उनसे कराने उनका भी फोर्टी फाइव डेज में देना पड़ेगा बिकॉज ही आल्सो हैज द उद्यम रजिस्ट्रेशन नहीं मेरा यहाँ पे आपसे मैं बिल्कुल एग्री हूँ मेरा ये मानना है कि इसे जैसे आपने कहा कि एज ए फ्री गिफ्ट देना चाहिए इनकॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ कंपनीज के साथ 
सेम वे में हमें क्या करना चाहिए हर कंपनी जो जीएसटी रजिस्ट्रेशन के लिए आती है कंपनी नहीं है प्रोपेटरशिप है या पार्टनरशिप है तो साथ ही उद्यम उसे अलॉट करते हैं हाँ जिसकी टर्न ओवर ढाई सौ करोड़ से कम है वो एम एस एम ई रजिस्टर्ड ही है रजिस्टर्ड क्यों कह रहे हैं उसे एम एस एम ई का दर्जा दे दिया जाए सर शुरू में तो जो भी कंपनी लेगी ना देखो जो पेन लेगी कोई कंपनी पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म में अपना पेन अप्लाई करे दे दो उसको जीएसटी नहीं भी है तो जीएसटी में अप्लाई करे तब तो उसकी टर्न ओवर मतलब बीस लाख चालीस लाख से कम ही होगी ना सो दे विल बी गिवन द उद्यम रजिस्ट्रेशन सर मेरा यहाँ पे थोड़ा ये कहना है कि हमें उद्यम की जरूरत क्यों है हम जीएसटी सर्टिफिकेट में ही लिखते हैं ना ये माइक्रो स्मॉल यूनिट है जीएसटी सबका नहीं होता ना सर देखो देखो क्या प्रॉब्लम क्या है जीएसटी सबका नहीं होता अगर किसी की पांच लाख टर्न है तो इट विल नॉट बी ए जीएसटी रजिस्टर्ड क्योंकि लेस देन टू फिफ्टी करोड़ है ना सर जिसकी कम है वो है ही है माइक्रो स्मॉल में सर वो मैं कह रहा हूँ वो खाली जीएसटी पे लिखने से तो सबका नहीं होगा ना रजिस्ट्रेशन ठीक है चल हाँ आगे बढ़ते हैं एक क्वेश्चन और है I would like to suggest that government may connect all registered MSMEs with Gem portal, and all the SMEs get connected with government company for their trade expansion. Um, we may take up this issue with the concerned ministry. I think they are giving the suggestion. So I, no, I'll, I'll, I'll explain this thing. So what happens in fact in current scenario, whenever anybody gets any udyam registration, they ask this thing. कि आपको अपना जेम पे भी रजिस्ट्रेशन करना है कि नहीं आप अपना ट्रेड पे भी रजिस्ट्रेशन करना चाहते हैं तो यू हैव टू क्लिक यस और नो एंड फॉर द जेम तो सो यू हैव टू शो योर इंटेंशन दैट यू वांट टू रजिस्टर ऑन ट्रेड एंड अ जेम एंड देन फॉर द जेम रजिस्ट्रेशन यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड वेरियस इन्फॉर्मेशन देर इज वन पोर्टल विच इज ए सिंगल विंडो पोर्टल बींग इंट्रोड्यूस बाई द गवर्नमेंट इट इज एन एस डब्ल्यू एस द नेम ऑफ द पोर्टल इज सिंगल विंडो पोर्टल इज Uh, wherein if you uh, submit a document once on the portal you can get all registration uh, with those documents so you need not to submit documents again and again to various department and another question mr venkat from hyderabad want to ask anything specially for health care or life sciences msme organization mm. I don't feel there is any special scheme for uh, this particular uh, sector. Maybe I don't have. And one participant from Kolkata, Mr. Prabir, want to ask whether any reclassification in NPA norms for MSME. No, this was a demand, but it has not been accepted. Uh, the NPA norm is same, ninety uh, days. and uh, only only change has been that uh, now finance will be available to sma accounts also under the guarantee scheme and uh, tarun sharma ji from gurgaon want to ask how msme can take loan for green field project face lot of difficulty from banks through cgt ms note <laughs> ye bada typical question hai to dekho bank ka मैं आपको एक ही तरीका बताता हूं मैं आई हैड बीन ऑन द बोर्ड ऑफ ए बैंक आल्सो बैंक्स में बस आपको सो लोग पूछते हैं किस तरह के प्रोजेक्ट करते हैं बैंक करते हैं क्या करते हैं आई हैव ओनली वन आंसर यू नीड टू सेटिस्फाइड टू द बैंकर दैट योर प्रोजेक्ट इज ए वाइबल प्रोजेक्ट यू विल बी एबल टू रिपे द लोन विद इंटरेस्ट एंड यू विल अर्न समथिंग फॉर योर सेल्फ ऑल्सो देयर मे बी डिफिकल्टीज बट ऐसा नहीं है Uh, होता है बहुत ग्रीनफील्ड प्रोजेक्ट में और खास तौर से कुछ प्रोजेक्ट तो ऐसे हैं जो केवल कुछ स्कीम्स ऐसी हैं जो ग्रीनफील्ड को ही मिल सकती हैं लाइक like, जैसे पीएमईडीपी करके एक स्कीम है वेयर इन सब्सिडीज आर आल्सो अवेलेबल वो अगर आप एग्जिस्टिंग बिजनेस कर रहे हैं तो मिलता ही नहीं है लाइक like, इसी तरह से विमेन uh, एंटरप्रनर को स्टैंड अप इंडिया स्कीम है उसमें मिलता है नए एंटरप्रनर ग्रीन प्रोजेक्ट को मिलता है केवल एग्जिस्टिंग को मिलता ही नहीं है सो देर आर स्कीम्स and cdtmsc also is uh, for new as well as existing uh, enterprises and rasid goel from gurgaon want to know that overdue payment from government still remains to be a problem though there is a bill discounting introduced through trades and section 43b h has been introduced government pe applicable nahi hota na 43b h unko income unko apna return to file nahi karni hai गवर्नमेंट को पी एस को तो करनी है बट गवर्नमेंट को तो करनी नहीं है तो 43 थ्री बी का गवर्नमेंट पे फर्क नहीं पड़ता यस बट दिस प्रॉब्लम इज देयर मिनिस्ट्री इज आल्सो वेल अवेयर ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम देयर हैज बीन ए रीसेंट रिपोर्ट 
थोड़ा पुरानी हो गया वेर इन इट हैज बिन टोल्ड दैट मोर देन टेन लेख करोड़ रुपीज इज टक अप इन गवर्नमेंट एंड प्राइवेट लार्ज कंपनी और द अदर एम एस एम ईज बट दिस इज ए फैक्ट मतलब आई एग्री आई एग्री विद द स्टेटमेंट दैट देर इज ए प्रॉब्लम एंड रजत दोषी फ्रॉम मुंबई वॉन्ट टू आस्क बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं सर आज आपके लिए कुछ ही सर कुछ ही सर रिक्वेस्ट फॉर मुकेश सर टू प्लीज हाईलाइट द गवर्नमेंट देर आर मेनी लूप फूल और वेज वेयर इन देर आर क्लैरिफिकेशन रिक्वायर्ड नीडेड टू सेक्शन फोर्टी थ्री बी क्लोज पीपल आर टेकिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस लूप फूल टू आउट ऑफ दिव्यू ऑफ सेक्शन फोर्टी थ्री बी क्लोज एच प्लीज हाईलाइट ऑन दिस सर नहीं तो फोर्टी थ्री बी एच पे वी कैन डिस्कस एट लेंथ इनफैक्ट क्या क्या कंफ्यूजन है इफ यू कैन जस्ट जैसे लोग कह रहे हैं कि हम लोगों से लेंगे ही नहीं जो उद्यम रजिस्टर्ड है उनको कह रहे हैं उद्यम रजिस्ट्रेशन कैंसिल कर दीजिए वो हमने पहले डिस्कस कर लिया तो वी आर डिस्कसिंग वी आर इन टॉक विद द गवर्नमेंट एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू कन्विंस द गवर्नमेंट कि आप उद्यम रजिस्ट्रेशन को मैंडेटरी कर दो ऑल एम एस एम ई जैसे जी जैसे आधार कार्ड इंडिविजुअल के लिए मैंडेटरी है तो हम तो ये गवर्नमेंट से कह रहे हैं कि आप आधार कार्ड की तरह इनका एक उद्यम का भी एक ड्राइव चलाओ एंड एवरीबडी शुड हैव द उद्यम रजिस्ट्रेशन सो दैट देर इज नो कंफ्यूजन लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड सबके साथ एक सा होना चाहिए विनोद गर्ग जी दहली से कह रहे हैं सर जो फ्री गिफ्ट्स की आपने बात की उद्यम रजिस्ट्रेशन के फ्री गिफ्ट की कई बार ये ट्रबल पैदा करते हैं जैसे कि पी और ई में आप देख रहे हैं कि नोटिस आ रहे हैं एमसीएस से कि आपने रिटर्न नहीं भरी और कंप्लाइंसिस नहीं तो ठीक है कंप्लाइंस के लिए तो ठीक है सर वी नीड टू बी वो पीएफ नंबर ऑटोमेटिकली अलॉट हो जाता है एमसीए रजिस्ट्रेशन में और वो उनको नोटिस आ रहे हैं जबकि उनके कोई इम्प्लाइज ही नहीं है कंपनी काम ही नहीं कर रही है वो अच्छा आई वाज नॉट अवेयर ऑफ दिस थिंग विल डेफिनेटली तो माय रिक्वेस्ट सर जो सजेशन है ना उनका एक अगर हम बना लें विच मे बी डिस्कस विद द गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो तो हम धीरज सर के साथ और राज जी के साथ एक पूरा एक वो बना लेंगे की वट आर द सजेशन Uh, and uh, uske baad we can submit it to the government maybe it's a good suggestion mujhe bhi lagta to tha ye ki abhi shuruaat to hui nahi company abhi se de rahe hain ye hame ye gift to hum is gift ka karenge kya ye hamari jaan ko musibat na ban jaye so ji good and vivek jain ji from raipur want to know that does hospital gets msme registration and whether any capital subsidy available to the hospitals नॉर्मली द सब्सिडीज आर स्टेट मैटर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट की अभी कोई बहुत ज्यादा सब्सिडी ऐसी है नहीं एक ही सब्सिडी जो मैं समझ रहा हूँ पहले क्रेडिट लिंक कैपिटल सब्सिडी स्कीम थी वो अभी है नहीं वो खास तौर से एक सर्कुलर इकोनॉमी uh, के लिए एक सब्सिडी अनाउंस की है तो मैं आप इसको अगर मेरा एडवर्टीजमेंट ना समझे तो ये आप एक एम एस एम ई हेल्पलाइन यूट्यूब चैनल पर जाकर देख सकते हैं हमने ये जो दो स्कीम्स हैं वो हमने uh, अभी पोस्ट की थी अपने यूट्यूब चैनल पर uh, थोड़े दिन पहले तो वहाँ पर ये जो सब्सिडी एक है उसको बताया इसके अलावा जैसे मैंने आपसे कहा कि पी एम डी पी में सब्सिडी हैं फूड प्रोसेसिंग में कुछ सब्सिडीज हैं इसके अलावा जो सब्सिडीज होती हैं वो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट की हैं तो आपको अपने जो भी स्टेट है वहाँ पर पता करना पड़ेगा सर वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टच लिटल बिट मोर विच यू हैव टोल्ड इन यूर डेलीब्रेशन अबाउट दिस शर्म सुविधा एंड समाधान पोर्टल टू बी दी वेब I want uh, that ki hum put some more light on that. What kind of uh, uh, revamping you want in Samadhan portal? In your suggestion. ठीक है. So मैं बताता हूँ हम Samadhan पे हम लोग काफी काम कर रहे हैं. And we have created a very special portal in the name of No Defaulters dot com करके. And uh, this is very close to my heart. This delayed payment. मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अगर MSME को time से payment मिल जाए, they are not supposed to go. Uh, to the bankers also apne paisa hai wo fasa pada hai dusri jagah and when this money is stuck up in fact the bankers also reduce the dp if the outstanding is more than 90 days wo kehte hain bhai debt us hum 90 days tak ke lenge to hum double mar padti hai so what we are suggesting to the government as regards this uh, samadhan portal four five things i'll, I'll uh, mention you point by point number 1 this samadhan portal gives uh, a possibility to submit very brief information right just the buyer's name some invoices so we need to upload two three things one is the uh, buyer's detail then the purchase orders 
and the invoices. These three information are to be submitted in the Samadhan portal if any complaint is to be made uh, for delayed payment against any uh, enterprise. The regions, content, everything, nothing is there. There are no rules under this uh, MSMED Act 2006. There are some draft rules only, which the Ministry of MSME has uh, forwarded to all the states, and all the states have created uh, their own rules. So, what happens where? 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 And some states have identified some forms also, form A, form 1, like these type of forms have been created by them. So yet different, different states are adopting different uh, method. Then some states are charging some fees also for this thing. Some states are not charging any fees. I am also part of one of the MSCFC as a member. And I will tell you, there is a very interesting story. When I joined the first meeting, in fact, there was a case where they said, you have not done it स्टैम्प ड्यूटी जमा नहीं कराई डेढ़ लाख रुपए की तो मैंने बोला होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन ये क्या डेढ़ लाख रुपए उसने कहा सर मैंने तो जमा कर दी मैंने बोला डेढ़ लाख रुपए आपने किस चीज के लिए लिए इनसे कि सर वो स्टैम्प ड्यूटी ऑन द एफिडेविट तो मैंने पूछा कि भाई ये कौन सी स्टैम्प ड्यूटी आप ले रहे हो तो उन्होंने कहा सर वो हमारे रूल्स रेगुलेशन में आई टोल्ड एम डेट ब्रिंग द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ योर स्टेट तो वो लेकर आए उसमें लिखा था इट हैज टू बी सपोर्ट द डॉक्यूमेंट हैव टू बी सपोर्टेड विद ए विद एन एफिडेविट विद स्टैम्प ड्यूटी मैंने बोला ये तो दस रुपए की स्टैम्प ड्यूटी की बात है ये सौ रुपए की स्टैम्प ड्यूटी ले लो आप एफिडेविट का स्टैम्प ड्यूटी की कि सर हमने तो सोचा वो रिकवरी हमने बोला इट्स नॉट ए रिकवरी कोड इट इज फॉर द कॉन्सिलेशन राइट कॉन्सिलेशन नहीं करेंगे तो इट विल गो टू द आर्बिट्रेशन अभी आर्बिट्रेशन के लिए आपको पता होगा बहुत ही भयंकर एक रेगुलेशन आया है very soon uh, maybe in another two days i'll post it on my youtube channel and we can have then discussion on this um jo regulation aaye hain india international arbitration ka ek uh, fast track arbitration ka uske upar bhi hum agar dheeraj sar kahenge to ek aur hum ek uh, aise meeting rakh sakte hain to humne ek to ye kaha hai sarkar se to answer your question ki samadhan ka jo uh, scope aap thoda badhao usme aur agar aapko chahiye koi petition file karna hai to uski uh, koi form agar hai to wo hona chahiye अदर पार्टी को इंफॉर्मेशन जाती नहीं है वट वी हैव सीन इन वन ऑफ द केस इनफैक्ट कि उसका उद्यम उद्यम भी नहीं मिलता नंबर दे देता है वो पता चलता है कोई उद्यम हो सकता है ट्रेडिंग का हो या हो सकता है उद्यम उसका मीडियम uh, एंटरप्राइजेस uh, का हो वहां पर भी इतने लोग समझते नहीं है वो भी बेचारे उनकी भी मजबूरी है जो डीएम होते हैं वो लोग अपने एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल में लगे रहते हैं तो दिस इज नॉट देयर प्राइम एरिया उनके लिए अलग से स्टाफ होता नहीं है इनके पास So we have suggested that एक तो समाधान में पूरी डिटेल आनी चाहिए दूसरा हमने उनको कहा कि आप इसमें एक कॉमन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन बनाओ इस एक्ट के थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वट वी टोल्ड इन फैक्ट कि आप जितने भी ऑर्डर्स हैं उनको सर्चेबल मोड पर इसको एक कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म पे अपलोड करो उससे क्या होगा जैसे अभी हम एन सी एल टी हाई कोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट यू नो इन जगह पे जाके किसी भी कंपनी के बारे में देख सकते हैं वहां पर हमने कहा कि ये तो एक ड्यू डिलीजेंस का काम कर सकता है सपोज आई गॉड एन ऑर्डर फ्रॉम ए बी सी एंड कंपनी तो मैं पहले इस पे डाल के देख लू भाई यहाँ पे समाधान पे ऑर्डर्स में जाके कि एबीसी एंड कंपनी के अगेंस्ट कितने काम अभी केसेस चल रहे हैं और वहां जाएगी बीस लोगों का तो ये पहली कंप्लेंट इसके पास इनके अगेंस्ट है तो आई विल बी लिटिल बिट कॉशियस कि भैया आई नीड टू डील विद दिस कंपनी और नॉट तो एक हमने कहा इसका सर्चेबल मोड में ऑर्डर्स होने चाहिए अनदर सजेशन वी गेव फॉर दिस समाधान पोर्टल की इसमें क्या होता है कि जैसे आज कोई डेट हुई अगली डेट कोई देते नहीं है कहते हैं कि ठीक है अब हम आपको बता देंगे नेक्स्ट डेट पे राइट तो हमने सजेशन दिया कि भाई देर शुड बी ए कॉजलेस सिस्टम आल्सो एक फिक्स कर दो आप हर हफ्ते करो हर महीने करो जो आपका जिस एम का जो सिस्टम हो यू फिक्स अप एंड एटलीस्ट गिव द नेक्स्ट डेट कॉजलेस होनी चाहिए सो दीज आर सम सजेशन बींग गिवेन बाई एस टू दर वट यू थिंक वट प्रपोजल वी कैन गिव विद रिगार्ड टू दिस जन विश्वास बिल सर इसमें तो ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस के लिए जैसे बहुत सारी जैसे अभी आपने एक आपने पॉइंट एक का आप हमारे एक इंटेलिजेंट व्यूअर ने अभी हमें बताया कि भाई आर के साथ वो जो ये जो गिफ्ट मिल रहे हैं हमें ईपीएफ और ये सब कुछ क्या ये आगे प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट कर रहे हैं 
तो जन विश्वास बिल में तो वी कैन सजेस्ट एज मेनी सजेशन टू द गवर्नमेंट एज पॉसिबल जो भी मैं चाहता हूँ जितने भी यहाँ पर व्यूअर्स हैं जो भी और भी जो हमारे जो प्रोफेशनल्स हैं वो बताएं कि कहाँ कहाँ उनको किस किस चीज में दिक्कत आ रही है उनको अपने लिए अपने क्लाइंट्स के लिए और वो सभी सजेशन हमें देने चाहिए पर्टिकुलरली फॉर द ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस इन एनी ऑफ दैट इसमें हर समाधान पोर्टल में हम एक और सुजेशन हमें ये देना चाहिए जो फीस की आपने बात की कि कहीं है कहीं नहीं है कुछ ज्यादा ले रहे हैं कुछ कम ले रहे हैं तो एक यूनिफॉर्म फीस हम कर दें अगर रखनी है नहीं तो फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट करें वही वही सजेशन वही है ना सर हमारा वही मैं कह रहा हूँ यूनिफॉर्मिटी यूनिफॉर्मिटी लाओ ना लेनी है तो सब लेने नहीं लेनी है तो कोई भी मतलब तो कॉमन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन अगर बन जाएंगे तो ये सब चीजें क्लियर तो एक, 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 एक दिक्कत मैं और फेस कर रहा हूँ समाधान पोर्टल पे ही कि जब हम जाते हैं समाधान पोर्टल उसके बाद वो फिजिकल पेपर जैसे भी आपने कहा कॉल करते हैं फाइल कॉल करते हैं तो वो पेपर की तरह पूरी इनकम टैक्स ऑफिस की तरह स्क्रूटनी करते हैं वो लेते ही नहीं बार बार डिनाई करेंगे क्लाइंट को दो बार तीन बार चार बार उसके पेपर वापस भेजेंगे हर इसमें ये नहीं है इसमें ये नहीं है तो वहां पे भी एक स्टैंडर्ड सेट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स होने चाहिए आप कहां बेस्ड हैं मैं हर चंडीगढ़ कोई पर्टिकुलर केस होगा कोई पर्टिकुलर एमएससी होगी बताइए सर उसको क्या है हम तो सीधे मिनिस्टर चीफ मिनिस्टर को लेटर लिखते हैं सर ऐसा कुछ भी होता है ना व्हाट आई डू इन फैक्ट कोई भी ऐसा आता है आई राइट लेटर डायरेक्टली टू द चीफ मिनिस्टर कि भैया ये आपके यहाँ पर ये विद द कॉपी टू द डिस्ट्रिक्ट मिनिस्टर ऑफ दैट एरिया बट किसी पर्टिकुलर जगह पे होगी नॉर्मली कि सर जैसे ही समाधान पोर्टल री रैम्प हो रहा है तो हम उसमें एक ग्रवेंस का भी टैब बना दें जिसमें हमें हमारा अगर केस हीरिंग के लिए फिक्स नहीं हो रहा है या लेट हो रहा है या हमें परेशान दिया जा रहा है तो हम वहाँ पे ऑनलाइन ग्रवेंस डाल सकें और उसका एक टाइम पीरियड फिक्स हो कि इतने में मेरे को सर है मैं आपको पोर्टल बताता हूँ चैंपियन पोर्टल है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एम का वो ग्रीवेंसिस के लिए ही है चैंपियन सर चैंपियन लेकिन समाधान के लिए हम इसमें कर सकते हैं समाधान से आई थिंक सर आई हैव टेकन ऑल दी क्वेरीज एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल दी अमेंडमेंट्स और न्यू प्रपोजल्स बाय दी फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर इन दिस यूनियन बजट 2024 एट इन डिटेल तो थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर स्पेयरिंग योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम फॉर आईसीआई एंड ऑलवेज यू आर हेयर टू हेल्प दी एम मेरे को लगता है कि एमएसएमई में सबसे पैशनेट इंसान अगर है तो आप हैं क्योंकि मैं आपके सारे वीडियो सुनता हूं और बड़े ध्यान से सुनता हूं बहुत ही अच्छा काम आप कर रहे हैं मेरी तरफ से हर कॉम्प्लीमेंट विद दिस थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू आई नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट टू टीम आईसीआई टू वाइंड अप दीडिंग Team ICI, please wind up the proceedings. Sir, you can leave. I think though nobody is okay. there. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Manoj ji. Thank you, Dheeraj ji. Thank you, Raj ji. Thank you very much. And thank you all the viewers. Thank you very much.